Hey guys, lots of you send me emails and qu have questions about spinning rods and conventional gear. When to use them? Um, is it okay to use spinning rods, spinning reels? And I think for most of us, when we started out saltwater fishing, that's what we started from. A lot of us were bass fishermen, trout fishermen, and even bluegill fishermen. Um, so all that was always done on spinning rods, especially way back in the day when I started. And a light gear like this is what everybody used. When I far, first started going on half day fishing trips, this is what I used when I fished on piers. This is what I used was a spinning reel, maybe a different model, but um, still kind of simple gear. So if you're gonna be fishing a half day trip or going to Catalina and uh, you're gonna be fishing calico bass, shallow water rockfish, don't be afraid to take spinning gear. You can use a light one with 12 pound to 15 pound test gear. And if you have a bigger reel, up to 20 or 25 pound test, that should be fine for all your local beginning fishing. Now, if you wanna step up a level, something like this has really changed the fishing here in Southern California, probably around the world, are these bigger level one reels. What's nice about these is you can put um, spectra on the bottom, the smaller reels, I put 50 on these bigger ones, like this 400 series, I put 65 pound spectra. If I'm fishing like rockfish at Channel Islands or San Clemente, even Catalina for rockfish, it works out really good with the spectra so you feel every little thing. It doesn't stretch like monofilament. And then on top of that, I would put straight monofilament. You don't wanna use fluorocarbon when you're fishing down deep over 100 feet because it, it doesn't work. It doesn't. There's no advantage to it. The whole idea behind, behind fluorocarbon is you want it to be harder for the fish to see, and that's why we use fluorocarbon. That's only for fishing right up on the surface. So if you're fly line fishing for yellowtail, calico bass, anything on the surface, bonita, then you want to use a fluorocarbon. But if you're going down deep for the rockfish, ling cut, then just go ahead and put monofilament and save your money. But these reels have made Fishing with conventional reels, so much easier. They're e a lot easier to cast. You don't have to move the line back and forth when you wind it in. It's just more forgiving, easy to do. But again, if you're brand new to fishing and you just want to try a spinning reel to get started, don't be afraid to fish these. They work out fine. Over in the East Coast, like in Florida, the guys fish sailfish, everything like that with spinning reels. Here in Southern California, people kind of look down on it, but if you're more comfortable casting with a spinning reel, I'd rather see you use a spinning reel than use a conventional and not know how to use it. You got to get your live bait away from the boat and the farther the cast, the more likely you're going to get bit. All right, that's today's little video blog. For more information, don't be afraid to put a comment down below. I'll try to help you out if you have some other questions. Thank you for watching. I'll talk to you all soon.